Hi everyone, welcome to this short video on Anaplan's Optimizer. My name is Julia Honigsberger and I'm a Consulting Director at Thoroughgood Associates. A bit about Thoroughgood for those of you who aren't familiar with us. We're an independent BI and analytics specialist and we operate globally with offices in London, East Coast US, Asia Pac and South America. Our consultants combine three key skills, analytic capability, technology understanding and a key business focus. We offer a full service from helping customers develop BI and analytics strategies and roadmaps all the way through to implementation and support. In terms of technology, we partner with key BI and analytic vendors and my focus today is on Anaplan. Anaplan is a cloud-based planning and business modelling technology. It's relatively new in the space, but its developers are from a datum, which became the foundation of Cognos planning. So they've got a wealth of understanding of what the technology needs to do. And coming into the market late to enable them to build a product that's architected and optimised for the cloud. Anaplan's built up some impressive credentials. It was rated number one on Entrepreneur Magazine's 360 list in 2017 and in the top 25 of Forbes Cloud 100 companies in the same year. It's got into the leader quadrant for two of Gartner's Magic Quadrants, Strategic Corporate Performance Management and Sales Performance Management. And that's in part due to the wide range of application areas that Anaplan can operate in from sales, finance, HR, supply chain, Earlier this year, Anaplan held their annual customer event in Las Vegas and at that, Sabrata Chakrabarti presented their roadmap themes for 2018. He highlighted six key themes including enhancements to the user experience, including collaboration, as well as some technical enhancements around data integration, scalability and security, things like bring your own key. But the area I'm going to focus on in today's session is intelligent planning. Anaplan already incorporates a number of forecasting methods in their models, including things like exponential smoothing and Croston's intermittent demand model. But in 2018, Anaplan is shifting focus to intelligent planning around both linear programming and AI. On the AI side, they're running a number of POCs in conjunction with Google ML. But what I'm going to show today is Anaplan Optimizer, their linear programming algorithm. Optimizer is a linear programming capability that runs Gurobi Optimizer's linear programming solver and it's been integrated as part of Anaplan and it sits on the Anaplan platform. The business problem I'm going to look at today is one of a supply chain analyst who's got two plants and five distribution centres or DCs which deliver products to a number of stores. And my aim is to calculate which products to ship from which plants through which distribution channels to minimise my cost, but acknowledging that I've got a number of constraints. So let's move into Anaplan and see how it's done. I've got some input data that I need to set up to calculate my costs. So I've got my shipment cost from plant to DC, and below that I've got my cost from DC to store and I also know the price that I'm selling each product to, each store for. Down here I've got some additional costs too, plant production costs and DC handling costs, along with a DC fixed cost, irrespective of how much I ship through that DC. We can see that DC3 has got a, a high fixed cost, as well as being at the top end of my handling costs, so I'm going to keep an eye on that one. I've also got some capacity volumes which I need to take into account. Plant 1 has a capacity of 12 million and plant 2 at 8.4. Similarly, I know my DC capacities, they're running around 4 million except DC3 which has got a capacity of over 6 million. Below this I can see my store demand and I can see that based on the data I've been supplied I've got a demand of 16 million a production capacity of 20 million and a distribution centre capacity of 25 million so I really should be able to find a solution but I need to know what the lowest cost is. One of the great things about Anaplan is its ability to meet the demands of many areas of business planning so all of this data could have come from Anaplan planning models run by finance, demand planning, logistics, any area of the business that's involved in producing this information. 
In terms of telling the model my constraints, I've programmed these into the model itself, but I've added them here in plain English to show what I've set up. I must deliver exactly to what the store's demand is, and I can't ship more than I can produce at each plant, and I can't distribute more than I can hold at each DC. Finally, I don't want to leave undelivered products in the DCs, so the amount shipped to store must equal the amount shipped from plant. So here's my model I'm submitting to Optimizer with my plant and DC costs. The only one I can put in at the moment is my DC fixed cost because everything else depends on what's shipped to where. I can put in my sales income as I know my sales price and I know I must sell everything demanded. That was one of my constraints, remember. So before production and shipping, my profit's close to 100%. So now I'm going to run Optimizer and it'll calculate which products to ship from which plants through which distribution centres to give me the lowest cost and therefore the highest profit. It's going to show the allocation in these two tables at the bottom. There you go, we can see where the optimizer's allocated volumes. You might remember that plant 1 had a capacity of 12 million and plant 2 8.4 and we can see that it's put as much capacity as it could through plant 2. Plant 1 still has some spare capacity. Similarly, you might remember that DC3 had a capacity of over 6 million, but it's preferring alternatives to DC3 in the majority of cases. What I've done here is to bring through some of plant to DC and plant production input costs that we saw earlier. We can see that plant 1 has doubled the production cost of plant 2, and this explains why optimizers favouring plant 2 at the moment. Similarly over here, we can see that DC3s has a high plant to DC cost, so this explains why it's only using about half the capacity of DC3. So do we need DC3 at all? We know it's got a high fixed cost, but some volume is going through it. We're currently making 13% profit. So I've set up a selection option here, where I can deselect DC3, turn it off effectively. Let's see what happens if I rerun Optimizer. Now I can see that my overall profit goes down to 6.7% because it did have some routes that were cost effective. So turning it off doesn't have the effect that I would have thought, so I'm going to re-enable it again. But what if I could reduce my production cost at plant 1? How would that change the result? Let's drop plant 1 costs by 20%. Rerun the optimizer. Now we can see that it's taken all the capacity from plant 1 and the spare capacity is at plant 2 and that's increased my profit to 13.4%. So can I cope with an increase in store demand? I'm currently getting that 13.4%. Let's see what happens if I increase my store demand by 10%. I know that I'll get more sales income. Let's rerun Optimizer. So slightly counterintuitively, it's actually reduced my profit to 10.8%. And that's because it's now forced to put volumes across a less profitable route. So more revenue, but at a lower margin. The final scenario that I'm going to run today is to see what the effect of a new plant is with a different cost structure. Anaplan allows me to easily add a new plant, and I'll set up some costs for that plant. I refresh my screen, I can see my new plant, and I'll give it a cost of four across the board. Maybe I've negotiated a plant unit cost of £1.75. And remember, I need to put in some volumes that that plant can produce. Let's match plant two. Let's rerun the optimizer. What 
What I can see now is it's preferring this new plant over plant two, and it's increased my profit from 10.8 to 11.2%. So this might lead me to make some fairly fundamental business decisions about which plants I'm producing product in. Thank you for listening to today's Anaplan Optimizer video. I hope you found it interesting. If you've got any questions or you'd like to know more about Anaplan, my details are on the screen, so just drop me a mail or contact me via LinkedIn.